I'm meteorologist Michelle Muscatello after some overnight thunderstorms has turned into a beautiful start to the week and that sort of weather will continue for most of the week. Mostly sunny skies this afternoon lower to middle 80s with a breezy southwest wind and comfortable humidity for those headed along the coastline. Heads up, we still have a high rip current risk along parts of the shore and a high surf advisory that's in effect until 8 this evening. Five to eight foot waves continuing along the coast. There is a small chance of a passing shower. It's isolated this evening, otherwise partly cloudy overnight tonight. Our forecast for the next few hours of the afternoon show those dry and sunny conditions. And then notice six o'clock this evening, a little blip of green up to the north and west and isolated and we're talking very isolated shower threat for the early part of the night tonight and then clearing out for tomorrow morning and tomorrow looking like another mostly sunny day. So just a little spoke of energy here in the upper levels of the atmosphere that'll pinwheel through today and give us that chance for that isolated early in the night shower or storm. Meanwhile, a lot of attention here on Ian, a category one hurricane. It did strengthen some more this morning, now up to 80 mile per hour sustained winds and the latest track very concerning for the west coast of Florida. This is expected to strengthen to a major hurricane as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico, then slow down in its forward speed. Now it is likely to be passing very close to Bermuda by Wednesday evening and Thursday as a still significant hurricane, though it may be weakening some before coming on shore. But the slowing down of the forward speed, the already vulnerability of the Tampa Bay area to storm surge flooding, and this is a, a tough situation. They're already under a hurricane watch in Tampa Bay and a tropical storm watch further south. But you can see again uh, the Thursday morning forecast track here, and we still have that cone of uncertainty that stretches from around Fort Myers up through the Florida Panhandle, but kind of honing in on a track north of Tampa late in the work week. Meanwhile, our early part of the work week is looking just beautiful, mild and mostly sunny for Tuesday and another day of dry skies on Wednesday, upper 60s to near 70. Full forecast is on WPRI's main weather page. Have a great day.